I'm here with one half of your co-main event, CFFC 132, Emily Martins. Emily, how are we doing? Happy uh, fight night or t tomorrow's fight night. You just made weight. I just made weight. I feel great. I already hydrated a little bit, so now I feel awesome, amazing. And undefeated with Cage Fury, undefeated uh, as a professional, co-main event, fighting for the vacant Bantamweight title. Like, how are you feeling ahead of this massive fight? I feel great. I'm very confident. I've been training so hard for my whole life. I've been waiting for this moment. I feel like I was born ready. And with my all my effort and hard trains, I'm ready for it, man. I feel great. And the cage is right there. Tomorrow night, envisioning yourself in that cage, getting your hand raised, the belt wrapped around you. Like, what's that going to feel like? Uh, after that, all my emotions are going to go down. And I'll finally can say, Thank God, glory and honor to Jesus Christ. So that's all I do. That's all for him. So I, I can see myself doing that 100%. And you got your squad right here watching the interview. Tell me a little bit about camp, where you're training, and who you're training with. For this camp, my main training partner was my sister, which was crazy. I got so much headaches and so many black eyes, but I'm ready because of her. And also my coaches, uh, my co my boxing coach, Ivan Oliveira, he's the best man. And the best jiu-jitsu I could ever ask for is Juicy Formiga. And also I train with Anderson uh, for my striking. And <clears throat> as you guys know, all my fights are for submissions, but I've been training a lot of my striking and my boxing. I hope I get just to show some of them, so. Hit him with the one, two. Bang. Yeah, and I did, and I did uh, the other other base, okay? I figured you're doing more than just a one-two. I was just kidding. It was better form than me. But Autumn Norton, she's yeah. going to be your opponent, also fighting for the belt. What have you seen from her? What are your thoughts on this matchup? Man, I think she's a great athlete. I've seen her videos, uh, her fights. She's very technical, and I think she's a great fighter. She's she has heavy hands. She's um, she's a great fighter, but. I worked very hard and I know how much I worked. So I'm confident and I'm coming for the belt 100%. Four or five rounds or are you getting a knockout or submission? I'm ready for five rounds, but I don't want to do five rounds. So if I can get in first round, 30 seconds, no, I'm just kidding. But if I can, nobody knows, I'll do it, man, I'll do it. And then Emily, after winning this belt with a win, like what's next for you? Like what are your career aspirations? Where do you see the rest of the year going? Um, I know everybody's expecting me like so many big things. I am expecting that because I've been, as I said, I've been working my whole life for this. And uh, but whatever God has prepared for me, I know it's going to come my way in the right timing. But um, if I need to defend the belt just one more time until I go to a big promotion, I, I'll be happy to, especially because I love Cage Fury. They all treat me so well, and I feel great with you guys. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, anything you would like to say to all your fans watching before the fight? If so, take it away. Yes. What's up, guys? I love you guys, and I love all the support and um, love you guys give me. And let's go. Asoita. Cage Fury, 132, June 14th. That's Friday. Tomorrow, maybe today when you're watching this, right in that cage. Emily Martins fighting for that Bantamweight title. Emily, kick some ass, all right? Thank Let's you so go. much. Thank